Hiya, my name is Ellis Lloyd Jones. I am 23 years of age and I'm from the Ronda Valleys. Oh, and my preferred pronouns are he, him. Um, we were told, in three words, how would you describe your sense of style? Not quite vintage. That works, doesn't it? I basically, I like to go for like the sort of vintage style I'm trying to get into, like, and yeah, trying to get away from fast fashion. So I'm going into more reusable. There's a word, there is a word, I'm not sure what it is. Um, so yes, although it doesn't look it right now, I am trying my best, hence the not quite vintage. There we go. <laughs> Uh, what item in your closet makes you feel more confident in identity? Oh. I tell you what I've got. I've got like this really fluffy teddy bear coat, which every time I wear it, I feel like makes me feel feminine, although it's a man's coat. It's like, I don't know, it makes me feel like one of those girls I used to walk around school with their handbags like that and like their fluffy coat. It always reminds me of that. And I also use it for one of my characters on my TikTok, Helen Evans, the black fluffy coat that she always wears that. Um, could you give an example of one of your TikTok characters and explain how this style helps you get into character? Oh, there we go. Yeah, with Helen Evans, it's very much, you've got to have the coat, you've got to have the glasses. And I used to put like paper clips on my nails like that, so it could be like, and it makes me feel like, you know, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's definitely the court though, because I based the, I based the character off that stereotype of that one person in the office that everyone knows who is always cold. Yes, no matter how cold it is or how boiling it's out, they will always be wrapped up in a huge fluffy coat. So that's Helen Evans for you. She's down in hell and she's wearing a huge fluffy coat. I love that. Um, did your style change when you moved to Cardiff? 100%, 100%. I mean, style definitely changed when I came down to Cardiff. Basically, back home, everything is in your own box. You've got to be a certain way, and if you're not, people will make sure to let you know that you're different. That's how it felt back home. Um, but down in Cardiff, no one gives a crap where you are. You know, you can be whoever you want, and people just walk past and not even notice it. I love that. And it's like, everyone's just so different down in Cardiff, and it's like, yeah, it's like Pinterest, that's how I sort of think of it, because it's like everything's sort of different and I get like inspiration from each person's outfit. And I just feel like a free, I can feel free to wear whatever I want. But like obviously when I go back home, I'm checking the back black skinny jeans on and a jumper and just trying to blend in with everyone else. That. Um, does your style change when you go back home? There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it very does much change. When I go back home, I try to, like, tone it down a bit. I try to make sure that it's not something that people back home would not wear, if that makes sense. Yeah. Just very much like that. This sounds really sad, but I'm over it. I'm just, like... I feel like Hannah Montana, like I'm living a double life. Vibes. Um... In your opinion, why is self-expression so important in the LGBTQ community? Expression is so important because it just makes you feel like what's inside just come out. And it's like, you know, some people, they want to like, you know, wait till they're ready and that's completely fine. But to some people it feels like, you know, this is who I am and I want to wear it every single day, you know. For instance, the main reason why I do drag is a sense of me to express my femininity because all my life I've like oppressed it and like been told that I can't do camp, I gotta be masculine, I gotta be a man, you know, and stuff like that. So when I dress up in drag, that is me being like, this is what's on the inside and this is what I want to show and this is how I want to present, if that makes sense. Um, have you ever struggled to express your true personality style? How did you overcome this? There we go. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Um, what was I now? I've ever struggled to express your true personality. Definitely, definitely. Back home, I'd always used to try and next, like, oh, let me get my water bottle away. Every time when I was back home, I'd always try to, like, experiment with what I'd wear. Like, I went through a cardigan phase, which I'm going through it again now, although we're in the middle of summer. Um, but it's like, I remember just people taking the mick out to me for like wearing these lovely luscious cardigans I looked absolutely amazing in them but people were just taking the mick which took me to the point where I was like oh, I don't want to wear them now because I don't want people to make fun of me you know what was that a question so yeah it was always a struggle back home being like trying to 
dress the way that I wanted to because it would either be taken the mick out of, I would either have looks or people just not approve of it. And I, at the time I was very much the people pleaser, you know, just wanted to fit in, just wanted to be everyone's friend, very that. Um, how did you overcome this? How did I overcome this? Chuck the, the cardigans out and I've bought more. Um, if you could give your younger self advice when it comes to self-expression, what would it be? That's the difficult thing, because it's like, I know when I was younger, I was very much, you know, very insecure, very like, you know, I want to know what everyone thinks of me just as a peace of mind. Although they could have turned it around and been like, uh, and that would have upset me, if that makes sense. But, um, what would I say to my younger self? Just, oh, I know it's easier said than done, but just don't care what people say, but it is easier said than done, you know. But just, just do what makes you feel happy. That's something which I stick to to this day now. It's that, what would Alice want? What would Alice would do in this situation, you know? What would make me happy? It's like that, what would Batman do? That sort of thing, you know? But like, what would Alice do? But, yeah. And that's something which I really do now is like, Oh, if I'm the if I'm you, like, oh, I really fancy going to, like, Greg's and picking up a pasty, you know, but I don't, you know, I'd be like, well, no, Alice wants to go to Greg's and pick up a pasty, that's what Alice is going to do. So, yeah, I think just, what do you want out of life, and what do you want to achieve? And if that is a corned beef pasty from Greg's, you go and fetch that corned beef pasty from Greg's. Um, and finance and additional information, please include at least two high quality photos. Of oh, I'm ready for that, yeah. Yeah, dim probs. So yes, there we go. So that was my um, LGBTQ um, re the magazine questions. Dalchavour. <laughs>